Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Love of Evolve with Brandis. I'm so sorry that I have not been posting uh, throughout the summer. It has been crazy with family activities and family events and there's pretty much been something every day and it's been very hard for me to really just find time with God to sit down and um, really be inspired about something. So I know I have to take my own advice about really being able to make time for myself in order to be creative and do the things that it is that I want to do. So I am going to go ahead and um, continue on with this. Um, I really love doing these videos. It helps me and I hope that it helps you. Um, I am promising myself to try to post at least every other Monday. Um, possibly every Monday if I am super inspired. Um, but please be aware and check your inboxes at least um, every other Monday if you are subscribed um, to find an inspirational video from me. So that'll be awesome. Um, but today we are on uh, episode number 12 and it is entitled... Hey, yeah, I was just very inspired to talk about how to really turn our Mondays around because um, I think a lot of us are getting back into the swing of things from the summer and our lives start to kind of go into the motions again and sometimes they can be very mundane. So I wanted to take this opportunity to kind of give us some inspiration as to how we can really take our normal mentality and shift it a little bit in order to make our Mondays more enjoyable. And of course, you can take this information and you can go ahead and use it throughout the week. So I want us to think about this. A lot of us wake up in the morning, we're upset at our alarms, we don't want to be waking up, we had such a fun weekend that we don't want to really get into the swing of things again. We may not like our current job situation or what it is that we're doing at the current time. So a lot of us are just plowing through life, going through the motions, and we're very, very unaware of what's going on around us and a lot of us may not really be awake. I know that that was the case with me and I definitely was tired of it and did and was very conscious of not being awake through life and I really wanted to um, make a change. So I want you to contemplate this one question as to how this could affect you. Take a look here. Had some time to look at that question and I'm assuming that the answer to that question is probably no it definitely was the answer to um, that was definitely my answer that I had as well so basically you know what do we do about it then so something that I have been doing for quite a long time now and I try to make it um, a, a practice is this before I go to bed and first thing in the morning I, as I'm saying my prayers as I'm um, you know, just being in touch with my spirit, I make sure to ask that in my conscious, it's, it's a mental shift in my conscious mind, if I can shift from self to service. And I make sure I ask this right before I go to bed and when I wake up in the morning as I enter my day and especially as I enter a Monday. Um, when I make that shift, like I said, it's more of a mental shift. And I want us to think of this mental shift with this analogy that I have of my hand. So I want us, when we think of self, a lot of us are going through life with a fist, okay? We have this fist, we're very tense, we're tight. Um, this fist represents self in the fact that we want to control everything, we want everything to go our way. As you can see with a fist, it's not very flexible. God really can't put much in here because there's not much room. Um, and there's really not much that can come out because there's not much room at the bottom either. Okay, so I want us to think of that as self. A lot of us are going through life as a fist, very tense, very tight, very controlled, not flexible, really just wanting everything to go our way and probably not being very open to others around us. When we ask God and when we get to that conscious level, and um, we try to think differently, we ask to be of service. And when we're of service, I want us to think of an open hand. And an open hand, as you can see, God could put a lot in here. Maybe if I move my fingers a little bit, I can have things come out. If I were to pour water in my hand, it would be able to come out and maybe flow to other people that needed it as well. 
And I want us to think of an open hand being flexible. It's not very tense. It's not very controlled. It can kind of move and be open to whatever it is um, that's happening in the current circumstances um, around. So um, making that mental shift and maybe thinking of my idea about the fist and the hand could be of service to you if you're wanting to go into your Monday and into your work week um, with a different approach and with a different um, thought process. So those of us that make that conscious shift from going from um, the self going to service, there's a lot of things that are going to be exciting now. When you ask to be used by God, you don't have to just be stuck on your agenda and whatever it is that you're doing that day. So, I mean, it's really exciting. When you really think about it, it's very exciting because when you're open in that way, who knows what God's going to have you do that day. Um, and it could be as small as encouraging someone um, at work. It could be as small as giving them a smile, giving them a hug. When we're very closed and restrained, those are things that we're not going to want to do. Um, it could be you're going to help somebody move something. You know, there might be physical labor. Um, you might actually, you know, you'll be very open and not so into your own stuff and what you are doing. You might be able to take a quick break and you might be able to be able to listen to someone and really give them an ear. Um, and it, it's just going to make that that much more meaningful. So if you're not extremely excited about your current work situation, try to make that shift from self to service to understand that it may not be, it's not about the work. Like, yes, we all want to have um, something meaningful to be doing in our lives, but your main job is to actually be at that job, doing the work it is to do, but then being open, being of service to help those bigger things that are happening in the workplace. And a lot of times, um, you know, that's happening with, with people. And you being available and open might mean the world to someone. And um, you telling God that you're ready to be used um, is going to be awesome. And I guarantee you that there's going to be something, whether it's super small or super big, that you're going to be um, chosen to, to handle that day if you let yourself be open, okay? So just think about those things. Um, my last question that I'd want to leave you with today would be, are you ready to make that mental shift from self to service? If you are, totally, um, you know, just think about that before you go to bed when you wake up in the morning and expect God to use you. Don't just be like, okay, if you want to use me, expect God to use you. Be happy for God to use you, and your Mondays are going to be way more exciting. The rest of your week will be way more exciting. And if you stay in that mentality, um, and let's say you're in a job or a situation that you're really not too fond of, if you stay in that situation, that's going to bring you to a higher vibration, a higher level. You're going to be happier and more positive, and it's going to be that type of shift in attitude that's probably going to bring you to that um, better career, better job, better purpose, um, whatever it may be of your life that, that you think is going to make you feel better. But start where you are, shift from self to service, and I promise you, you are not going to regret it. And um, the, the biggest thing that, that you can possibly be is the light to other people in your workplace or your situation. Um, you're going to be that light and you're going to be able to help those people shift from self to service as well. So thank you so much for listening. Subscribe. I am definitely back on here and I'm going to be, um, like I said, posting every other Monday. So I hope that you can take something away from this. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your week. And I mean, fall is almost here. I cannot believe it. So have a wonderful um, beginning of fall as well. I can't wait to um, do some things about fall. I just love fall. It's my favorite season. So maybe I'll throw some other stuff in here too. I don't know. But um, talk to you soon. God bless you and take care. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.